Now, one of the biggest issues with any Fire Stick or Fire TV Cube is always the memory. Now, these devices don't have much storage and they don't have much RAM. And as you can see on my 4K Fire Stick Max, I only have around about 380 megs of free memory. Now, as that memory goes down, that means I'm more likely to see buffering in my videos, choppy playback, stuttering. And if that memory keeps on going down, it just means that the performance of my Fire Stick is going to get worse and worse. Now, wouldn't it be amazing if I could press a single button on my Fire Stick and with this single button, I could instantly free up so much memory. Well, let me now press that button. And there you have it guys, with one click, I now have almost 900 megs of free memory. So in this video today, let me show you how you can get this updated free application, which works great across all of your Android devices. And through this single application, you can now really speed up your device. So please do take a moment to hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, let's get If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. So I'm doing my demonstration on the new 4K Fire Stick Max, but you really can use this application on any Android device. So your Nvidia Shields, your Android phones, your Android tablets, all of them can take advantage of this fast task killer. Now, the way we can confirm this application is actually stopping those apps running is by doing a quick test maybe with Netflix. As you guys know, when you open up Netflix for the first time or from a cold start, it basically shows you the logo and then it prompts you asking which user do you want to log in or which profile do you want to use? And this just confirms that you've started Netflix and it wasn't running in the background. So let me select my profile. That's now running. If I now press the home key, that's now running in the background. And secondly, if I open up another application like Downloader, we can see that's running in the background and we can see a page that's currently loaded. So two applications running in the background. Watch what happens now when I start the new version of Fast Task Killer. Now, this was updated a couple of days ago, August 2022. So it really is the latest version, has some fantastic updates and it will very quickly help you stop all these things running in the background. So let me now click on that. One click, you don't see any kind of prompts, any kind of menu, and it quickly goes off and closes all of those background applications it can see. And the way I'll verify that, if I now open up Netflix, I'm hoping now this time, it'll prompt me asking who wants to log in. And that just properly confirms that Netflix was closed by Fast Task Killer. And the fact that it's taken this long, I think that's pretty much, yeah, there we are. So that confirms that Netflix was shut down and it's now starting again from a cold start. If I press the home key, let's also look at Downloader, click on that. And again, we can see that's now loading the page as it's been started for the first time. So that just confirms one more time that Fast Task Killer will close off or stop these background applications running on your device, which will then free up memory. And the more free memory you'll have on your device, it just means you'll have less chance of getting buffering. And just overall, the navigating around, clicking on things, everything will just be a little bit snappier when your device has more available memory. So really easy to use. I'm so glad that they've updated this application. It now supports Android 13. So even on your newer Android devices, you'll be able to run this tool and again, free up memories. And if you want to see how much free memory you have on your Amazon device, the easiest way to do that is to use the developer tools menu. Now, if you don't have this installed, you can go over to search and just type in developer DEV. Here we can see the developer tools menu. Let's click on that. This is the one that you want. I've already got it installed, but if you don't have it installed, click on that, install it. So when you open it up, you'll then see this. And what you want to do then is turn on the system X-ray. So when I turn that on and we can now see at the top exactly how much memory my Fire Stick is using 
and also how much RAM is free. So, so right now we can see I have just over 860 megs of free memory. So that's the easiest way you can check exactly how much free memory you have on your Amazon device. So that's the application Fast Task Killer. Now to get this on all of your devices, on your Amazon devices, head over to settings, go to My Fire TV, go to developer options and where it says install unknown apps, click on that and just make sure downloader is set to on. Once you've confirmed that, let's now press the home key and let's now open up downloader again. Inside downloader, we can make a quick connection to my website, which is just techdoctoruk.com or you can type in the short code 53402. Let's type that in and click on go. Now, when you get to my site, if you head over to the hamburger menu, which is one with the three lines, click on that, click on tutorials, and the latest tutorial in the list will be how you can get this updated version of the Fast Task Killer. So let's open that up. Here we are. So we can see this is the application, works great on your Amazon devices and your Android TVs. Let's scroll down. And the great thing is it doesn't have any adverts. So completely free application works on all of your Android devices, no adverts, and actually does what it's supposed to do. Keep scrolling down and you now have this link here to the latest version of this application. So let's click on that. We can now scroll down and you want to click on this green download button. And this will download the latest version on your device. It's only one meg in size, so really small. Click on install. That's now all done. I can now click on done. Press the home key. Here is the application. And just because it runs really quickly, I'll do it one more time. I do advise that you do this at least once a day, maybe before you start your streaming session or you open up your favorite streaming applications. Click on this once. This will then quickly close down the applications running in the background, free up as much memory as possible, giving you that more smoother streaming experience. And just before you go, guys, if you don't have a VPN or you're not happy with your current VPN, Hype Vanish are doing a crazy promotion just for the next two weeks, whereby you can get total protection for all of your devices, your phones, your tablets, your Fire Sticks, your Android TVs, all devices covered at maximum speed, unlimited bandwidth, with confirmed zero data logging at just over $3 a month. So really at that price point to get all of that protection, I think it's an absolute no brainer. And the offer is only for the next two weeks. So if you are interested, definitely have a look in the video description or the pinned comment. I think it's definitely worthwhile checking out. So please do leave me a comment below. And let me know what you think about this application and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.